We have this just in to CNN from, CNN from Myanmar. A protester who was shot and seriously hurt last week has died. She is the only protest known to have been killed during these demonstrations, which have lasted for two weeks now. Thousands have been on the streets protesting against the military coup, which took place earlier this month. Paul Hancock has the very latest now for us from Seoul. I guess, you know, it, it is obviously a, a sad situation and a tragedy that this protester has died, but to think that they have been on the streets for two weeks now, and this is the first fatality. That is true, John, but certainly this could well galvanise the, uh, the pro-democracy movement. This was a young woman who uh, on February 9th was uh, at a protest in Naypyidaw in the capital. Now, video circulating online shows that protest. It shows security forces using water cannon, uh, protesters running away from it, and then you see a woman fall to the ground. Now, the doctor at the time uh, told the media that, in fact, that bullet had pierced the motorcycle helmet, and she had been in a critical condition since that time. Mei Tui Tui Kain uh, was her name and she had really become a, a symbol of the pro-democracy movement. We had seen that at a number of these protests, as you say, the first known casualty among the protest movement. So it will be interesting to see the reaction uh, on the streets of Myanmar. Now, it's not just the daytime protests that, uh, that the protesters worry about when it comes to uh, the response from security forces when night falls and when the internet is shut, that's when the arrests come. Buying Pyo Tu says she's been protesting on the streets of Yangon since day one of the military coup. One of the country's best-known actresses, Tu and her film director husband, Naji, have been vocally and financially supporting the civil disobedience movement. On Wednesday, the military put Naji on a list of celebrities to be arrested for encouraging opposition of the coup. He disgraced the military. That's what he's been charged for. So how did that feel when you realised that your husband's name was, was on the arrest list? Sorry. Not at all. Take your time. I'm just so angry and just so emotional because it's, it's not fair, you know. People who are doing the good things, they keep they keep being arrested. They just uh, keep arresting the people who are doing good. The couple have fled their home and are in hiding. Pots and pans they once used to join in the daily evening protest now have a different purpose. We have to make sure that we have pots and pans on our nightstand. So if somebody come and do something wrong to us, we ask the help from the neighbours just by banging the pots and pans because obviously that's the only weapon that our civilians have. They don't feel safe on the streets anymore, but are adamant that this is not the end of their fight for democracy. This is our last battle. We have to win this. So we have to do everything we can to reach out to the world and to everyone. And we must win this time. The arrests come at night when the internet is shut down and soldiers knock on the door. The military came for Mia A at dawn on February 1st, according to his daughter, the family have heard nothing since. A student leader in the failed 1988 uprising, he spent a total of 13 years behind bars. We don't want to live in another dictatorship again. And, you know, seeing uh, another generation of children having to meet their parents in jail is not uh, something that we want, to, we want people to go through. Wayne-In was just five months old when her father was first arrested. She says her mother taught her to say daddy from a photograph. Her father told her he had a backpack by the door with clothes, a toothbrush and medication. He had a quadruple bypass two years ago and needs daily medicine. Still critical of the military, he knew he might need this bag in a hurry. As Myanmar's military leadership continues a systematic silencing of voices of dissent, it strikes fear into those on the streets, wondering if they're next. Now, one Burmese NGO, AAPP, says that more than 500 political prisoners have been arrested so far. 
uh, and many protesters we speak to and activists say that they are sure that that number will be, start to, uh, to increase uh, as well. Now, from the, the military leadership point of view, they still maintain that this is not a coup. They say it was necessary because of uh, election fraud that happened at the end of last year uh, when there was the democratically elected government. They don't uh, address the number of arrests or the political prisoners directly, but they do say, and they have changed many penal codes uh, that make sure that uh, it is very difficult to criticize the military and to stay out of prison. John. Paula, thank you. Paula Hancock said live for us in Seoul. <laughs> ไม่ได้เก่าเลยว่าแล้วหมดมาที่จะต้องไม่ได้เก่าเลยแล้วเนี่ยลูเดียเลยแล้วจะกูไปนี่เลยสวีเนียเลยแล้วมาเจอเล